My name is Juliana Kuhn and this is Franklin Boulevard Media. In Gastonia, um, in Gaston County, I guess technically. Um, I've always been like around here though because my mom owns Running With Scissors down the street and then like my stepdad, he used to own Life of Pi and then um, I've just always kind of been down here and the, the little downtown child, um, everyone always knew me and they knew I'm Sue Ann's daughter. Everyone comes in still and they're like, you're Sue Ann's daughter. So um, just grew up literally on these like five blocks. So. Um, so I went to like, I live technically in Bessemer City. So I went to like Bessemer Middle School, but then I went to Piedmont Charter for high school. Um, and most people do like their whole time and stuff at Piedmont. Like um, they start in kindergarten and do the whole thing. But I went for like ninth grade through high school. So yeah, I graduated from high school. Um, I actually graduated a semester early. Um, and then I went to Western um, Carolina University. Um, I did not graduate from there. I went there um, about three years and then I dropped out literally the semester before COVID. Um, so it's probably good that I dropped out then anyway because I cannot do online classes. I told my mom that I didn't know what, no, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life um, and that when I turn 80 I just want to own a bookstore with all the books I've collected. Um, and just have one pot of like somehow burnt but still cold coffee and that's what you serve because <laughs> like you're an old lady and no one's gonna question it and um, she was like okay here was let's do a coffee shop with some books and put a cat in there and I was like oh, yeah yeah because um, you need something else to bring because I mean there are coffee shops everywhere and um and then this is really good for the cats like um, we're partnered with a rescue called NC Paul's Rescue out of Hickory. Um, and they provide us with all of our cats. Um, they're all completely spayed or neutered and completely vetted. Um, and then they just live here until they're adopted out and they get love and attention all the time um, and endless treats. And um, we have a jar next to our cash register. That's our treat fund. And it is always full. Um, and we have adopted out 100 cats and then this weekend we're adopting out two more and that'll be our 101 and 102 and they're adorable um so we opened in march of 2021 so we've about two and a half years um and then we did a re-up our contract so we'll be here for at least four um and hopefully longer than that but yeah so my advice for anyone um in their 20s that are just like really lost and don't know what you want to do because i mean that's really what 20s are for um, it's just like, I don't know, do it. Like if you like something and you are passionate about it and you think that you can make it work, do everything in your power. And I know that everyone says that, but it's like, I, if you had told me a month before I opened this that I would own a cat cafe, I wouldn't have believed it. Um, and then most businesses, especially like post COVID and all that stuff, like, don't make it past a year and we were at two and a half and there were some days where we did zero dollar days and the only person that came in was my mom and like um but i've gotten a lot of reading done i read a lot of books um and it's just like really like i mean anytime you're feeling i'm feeling dis discouraged i just go back there and i look at the cute little cats and then i'm like we're doing something good um so like if it makes you happy if you can find a community of people that love the same things as you, which is coffee, cats, and books. Um, people will support you. Like, show up. Um, the days where there's no one here, the days that you think you're not gonna make it, if no one else is supporting you, you got you. You show up, you be here, and I mean, there are like, your biggest supporters really are people you don't know, and people that you find online and people you find where I'm running down the street handing people business cards and do you know we have a cat cafe? It's two seconds that way. Come get a coffee. We got and like um, they'll do festivals and stuff downtown and I will run around with business cards and I find like the little kids and I'm like you cry until your mom brings you here and then you cry until she lets you leave with a cat. Like yeah. <laughs> so you just gotta find like people like People are gonna love the things you love. So how I decided 
um, for the location was that, I mean, I was born and raised right in this downtown. Um, I love this downtown. I love the people that are in it. I love the business owners. And this is really something that like Gastonia could have used. Um, it's just something to bring people down here, something to add a little personality, a little flavor. Yeah, like something just different that's not, you know, the huge things that are gonna be like, Gastonia has one of those, that's crazy. And then get people interested in the downtown and then let people know that you can open weird stores. That <laughs> I'm like, you can open really niche ideas and they work. Um, we have lots of storefronts that need some weird stores in them, so. If you got even the most outlandish idea, if you, you can find people that will support them and it will most likely be me. <laughs> I will be in your weird little stores every day. What I see in the future for Gastonia is just like originality. Like the younger generations, we're just coming out, we're just coming up with like the strangest ideas and they are just, um, they're working, like they're interesting, they're fun to participate in. Some people that like, I would like to thank, um, to like really shout out is just, I mean, my support system, um, definitely my mother, Sue Ann, love her. Um, this would not exist without her. It started up me and her, um, and she is off doing her bigger and better things. Um, she owns Running With Scissors Salon right down the street. Um, but she also teaches cosmetology at um, a college and she wanted to do that and that is like her dream and all that stuff. So like it really just came like me taking over it so she can do the things that she loves to do and now we're both just doing things that we love to do. Um, but like this would not exist definitely without her. And then like other people are definitely just our customers, our supporters, anyone who has ever liked or shared or commented or viewed anything on any social media, it doesn't matter. Um, if you have come in just to ask what we do here and then leave, that's enough. Like, we have a little window where you can see the cats, even if you look at the cats and you're like, they're so cute. Um, that's enough. If you have said our name out loud to anyone, anywhere, that is more than you ever know, so. If you've visited us, visit again. And if you haven't, come visit us. The, the cats are adorable. Um, they're so sweet and they need homes. And we got good coffee. <laughs> so.